Thank you. No, that's not true. Jackie did a good job, but I was a wreck without you. I miss so. you guys a lot, so it's wonderful to be back. Thank you. I am your host, Dylan Jorgensen, and we film this every Thursday at 9 o'clock. And what we do is we talk about the news, events, and people that matter most to this community. We look at it as a way for people to step back from like all the minutia of all the little problems that they have and see the kind of gains that the community is making as a whole as a way to kind of keep them in balance and keep them motivated for all the things that are happening. So the reason we have such amazing volunteers like Sean and Jackie and Susan that come out each week is because we think that the blueprint that we're building here in downtown Las Vegas is going to be something that anybody who wants to have the feel of a community at the scale of a city is going to want. And it's not going to be the kind of thing that you can hand to an architect. It's going to be the kind of thing that you're going to have to learn about the culture and the people that actually support each other. So that's why we do it. And one of the cool things about it is that we often have a sponsor that pays for the free beer for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then, yeah, Kios, but unfortunately he's not here today to talk about That's it. We have a great true. sponsor, yeah. Really sad that he couldn't be here, but it's Aaron Swartz from Modify Industries. And uh, he has this really awesome product that him and his team have just released called Modify Watches. And if you haven't seen them, they've been in Lucky Magazine and the New York Times and in a bunch of other really cool magazines like Vanity Fair. And they're essentially watches that are modular, so you can get just the face and you can mix and match that with a different strap. And what's interesting about this is that they crowd sort of design the, the actual different pieces. So it's very similar to local motors. There's like a collaborative um, community online that's like 30,000 designers plus wow. that like to assemble these. So my favorite one is there's like a blue strap and like a giraffe print watch <laughs> face, which is really cool. So um, definitely check them out. They're at modifywatches.com. And uh, the other cool thing about Modify Industries is that Aaron Swartz has actually been out to see the downtown Las Vegas scene and the downtown tech scene. And he stayed in the Ogden. He's come to a podcast before. He came to episode 23, I think. Okay. One of the episodes. And uh, he was really um, quite thrown and affected by this community. He said it was wonderful. He's, he wants to come and visit more than once. And he also wants people to come out and take a tour of his office. He wants to show that support and show that love. Also, he's actually going to be giving away a watch. Oh, um, <laughs> and I'm not sure you're qualified to enter, uh, which is very sad. But um, we're going to be giving away a free watch from Modular Industry, uh, sorry, Modify Indus uh, Industries next week. And it's really, really simple to enter. It can be both the audience here and those back home. All you have to do is tweet at Modify Watches on Twitter and thank them for sponsoring the beer tonight because it is really awesome. And you will go in the running to actually win one of those watches and we'll announce the winner next week, which is super cool. So again, use the hashtag Downtown Podcast and tweet at Modify Watches on Twitter and just say thanks for the beer. It was awesome and PBRs tonight, which is super cool. All right. And then I have one more thing to add as well because he's super generous. There's also going to be a discount code that they've pulled together specially for our community. So if you don't win a watch um, before Thanksgiving, as long as you enter in the code MODIFY DLV, again that's MODIFY DLV, we'll put that up on the screen, you can actually get a 30% discount. So that expires on the 27th of November, so it's for our audience only, because they're the only ones that might see that before the cutoff date. But definitely go on to modifywatches.com, and they also have an Instagram account at modifywatches, and again, their Twitter account is modifywatches. So if you like what you see, you can definitely get in, get 30% off, which sounds yeah, pretty cool to me. That's your reference, so yeah, yeah. So thank you so much, Aaron Swartz, for, for um, sponsoring that, and we hope to see you out in downtown Las Vegas again really soon. Okay. Thank yeah. you. It's not easy to win John over. It is easy to win John over. <laughs> good to right. yeah. He's good. He's good. All right. Uh, well, so first, uh, let's talk to John first. We got uh, WordCamp coming up. Uh, well, this uh, next month, December 14th and 15th, is our fifth annual WordCamp uh, Las Vegas. Um, this is the first time we've actually sold out. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Congrats. <laughs> yeah. The event starts wow. and, uh, and we sold out. Which you didn't even make it on the show in time to see Yeah, I know. I was going to push it. I'm going to put it on the 
that. Yeah, no, we don't, we don't even need that. But no, it is. It's, it's absolutely amazing. We've got people coming in from all over the country. Um, we actually have a guy from Budapest right now trying to get a ticket to Word Camp. He's like, I already bought my ticket. He's <laughs> flying over. So I don't know what we're going to do for him. But uh, we'll probably find a way. Yeah. But yeah, it's just absolutely an amazing event. Um, we've got, like I said, people from all over the country coming in, which um, I like doing because then I get to expose the, uh, the, the local community to just absolute WordPress powerhouse people from, from everywhere. It's, it's amazing. That's awesome. So um, what's your favorite memory from the previous WordCamps that you held? So favorite memory, let's see. Uh, at the very first WordCamp, um, probably drinking till 3 in the morning with oh. uh, with Matt Mullenweg. That was pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. So uh, it happened to fall on his birthday. So, uh, <laughs> That was fun. Um, but you know what, actually, so I actually travel to a lot of work camps. I've been to, I've been to some all over the country. Yeah. And uh, you know what, it's, it's, it's awesome getting to go and be part of other communities too. Mm -hmm. So kind of uh, some of the best friends I've made are through the WordPress community. And uh, so it's always cool to, like as soon as we sold, uh, put our tickets on sale, it's, it's fun just kind of seeing all of my friends, like watching the attendee list grow. is just like watching the list of all of my friends who are coming to Aww. see us. And that's just absolutely awesome. And bringing these brand new startups too, it's that WordPress is a great open source piece of software they can use to just get a quick website up, yeah. to like get through a startup weekend, mm -hmm. something totally. like that. Absolutely. It's, a, thing. it's perfect for an MVP. Like yeah. you, can, you can get something up and running in a couple of hours. We just did Give Camp a couple of uh, months mm -hmm. ago, and we, uh, you know, we built two different um, WordPress sites for two different nonprofits over the course Excellent. of a weekend. Cool. So, yeah. Really cool so, stuff. Well, cool. I can't wait to see what comes out of this weekend. I can't do that. Excellent. Thanks, John. Thanks. Cool. And next we have Dylan. Jackie. Oh, Jackie. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's the kind of producer I like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. So we're actually celebrating Brumja with Dylan because they've just launched the integrated payments, right? Yes. Why don't you tell us right. about that? Yeah. So, I mean, we, we yeah, just launched it about a week and a half ago. So mm -hmm. we're still we're still figuring out how how it integrates into the whole system and, mm -hmm. and all kinds of stuff. But super excited about making it just that much easier to buy and sell locally. So okay, how so, does it work? Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's pretty much the same way it always worked. There's just the credit card input um, kind of field from now on. Um, so you go to make an offer, and now instead of the offer being associated with nothing, it's associated with a credit card. So it's like you have a qualified buyer that's put up the money for this item. And so when you go to pick it up, and you guys meet up and still message each other privately, when you go to meet up, there's just no need to go to the ATM or worry about getting change or anything like that. You just go grab the item and you go home. Craigslist is shaking in their boots right now, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sure they are. <laughs> This kind of takes care of like flaky people, right? Like if you give something away for free, people kind of don't want to commit to it, or they go, "Oh, well, it was going to be free anyway, so I'm not going to go and pick it up." And I'm sure you probably heard that from your users, right? Yeah, I mean, as we've, we've grown to 12,000 users here wow. locally in Las Vegas, and so having like um, hundreds of sales going on um, daily, and so we were starting to see this trend of, of um, like people flaking out on sales and stuff like that, and we thought, how can we kind of solve this problem? And um, yeah, just like you said, asking somebody to put up a little bit of money for, for the item, it's a big ask up front, but it turns out to be really, really good for the for the seller because they know that this person put up the money, they know that they're serious about the sale, and that's just going to make them, both parties have um, a way better sale than they otherwise would have. They can actually get rid of the item. Yeah, yeah, which is what they want to do the whole time anyway. Oh, that's awesome. So you did write a blog post about it recently so people can check Rumja.com to find out more about that, right? Yes, definitely. Awesome. And I'm sure you're getting good feedback from users already. Yeah, tons of good feedback. People are people are writing in, calling people, like every 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 single way we can get feedback from users, we're getting it. So it's been really awesome. Awesome. So I just updated the app tonight, so we'll be having a look at that. All right, sweet. Go bye. Yeah, R U M G R for anybody who wants to check it out in the App Store or check them out online. Cool. So, yeah, thank you very much. Thanks, thanks for coming out. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. That was an awesome yeah. event. Great time. Awesome.
<laughs> cool. Okay. So for the events this week, we wanted to focus on something a little bit special, which is volunteering and getting involved with community causes. So we have a lot of really cool community events, but these are specifically about how you can help out those less fortunate and how you can assist charities. So this is a this is a very special um, news roundup. So the first one we have is the 2013 uh, Economic Summit and Student Leadership Conference. And this is all about preparing students for their future, advising them financially, getting them ready for their careers, and just kind of giving them a taste of the adult world and what they can expect and how they can take themselves further up right. school. Right. Adult world's really not that easy, you know? It's really not. I found out that very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> very quickly, as I'm sure we all did, right? Yeah. With varying degrees of success. This program is, de is designed to help people out with that because it can be very overwhelming. It's going to be on Saturday the 14th of December. It starts at 8.30 a.m. and goes all the way through till 4.30 p.m. So you're invited to participate in activities designed to prepare these students. So there's going to be financial advisors, um, career professionals, educators, and all sorts of other really cool people. It's going to be held at the College of Southern Nevada which is on Tulsa Boulevard, and it's open to 6th to 12th grade students and parents. There's going to be breakfast and lunch too, so it's going to be very, very well provided for. The cool thing about this though is that Girls in Tech has been invited to participate in this. So they will be holding three specific sessions in the morning. They're going to have a panel of Girls in Tech members that are going to be talking about their careers and uh, how they kind of decided on what they wanted to do and how they got there in the end. So I think that that's going to be really valuable for the students to see. So it's aimed for students between 12 and 18 years old and it's going to be like co-ed workshops which sounds really cool to me. Um, the reason why I mentioned the girls in tech is this is the volunteer aspect of this. We actually need girls in tech um, volunteers to help out with these workshops. Um, so definitely reach out to girls in tech if, uh, if you want to know more about how you can help out with that event. Right Christina? Right. <laughs> right. So you're part of girls in tech, right? Cool. So next up, we have the very lovable inaugural ugly sweater contest. Yes. <laughs> so I'm sure those out in the audience sort of saving up some ugly sweaters for that. I'm sure we'll be giving some weird ones for the next giving. Christmas. Anybody have an ugly sweater ready? No. Ugly sweater? One? No, it's going to be a guy. Yeah, well, Lindsay back you. there. I knew it. <laughs> I actually just bought a kid's sweater because it was so cute and I managed to squeeze into it. So yeah, well, you'll need it. My terrible sweater. The rest of my life, yeah. <laughs> um, so this sweater contest is also a food and toy drive and uh, it's being put on by the Las Vegas Rescue Mission. Um, so they, they're asking for you to turn up in your ugly sweater and you can win some prizes. It's going to be on Saturday, December the 7th from 2.30 till 5.30 p.m. And uh, it's going to be on Torrey Pines, Las Vegas at Finlay Chevrolet. So you can have a look at some cool cars at the same time. Um, they're asking that you bring non perishable food items, so things like canned veggies and soups, rice, pasta, ramen noodles, um, instant potatoes, things that are related to Thanksgiving as well, so that we can give people a good Thanksgiving dinner. Well, startup food. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. startup yeah. food for ramen noodles. You know, you guys want a ramen noodle. That's good, yeah. <laughs> um, and for the first time, they're also going to be helping Las Vegas Rotary put a, a party together for the 250 military families who are missing a loved one this holiday, so that's a really super important cause too. So again, prizes will be awarded for uh, in a variety of different categories for the ugly sweater, so I'm sure there'll be some really interesting categories there. And um, it's being run by Acts of Kindness, so you can go on their meetup to find out more about that. And um, yeah, they're also asking if you wanted to bring any unwrapped gifts as well to benefit children um, who are missing their loved ones from the military. Cool. So again, that's December the 7th at Finlay Chevrolet, which is really cool. Next up is a nightly entertainment, great food, and endless holiday cheer. No, absolutely nothing wrong with that. So they're going to be open for season from the 22nd of November, which is tomorrow, and it's going to be running all the way through till January the 6th, so you've got plenty of time to see that, and it's open every single night from 5.30 p.m., so there's no excuse for not getting down to see that. Uh, they're on Oki Boulevard, if you weren't sure where the Opportunity Village are, and then the executive director of the Opportunity Village was actually on episode right. 23. Right, yeah, that's a great episode. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was really cool. So um, he's a super cool guy. So you can find out more on opportunityvillage.org. Next up, we have Christina here to talk about Project Angel Faces event that's <coughs> happening. So uh, what exactly does that entail? Uh, the Huntridge Foundation is sponsoring teams of artists to um, turn 20 rooms at the Gateway Motel into interactive exhibits. And so Project Angel Faces, our team is assigned the inside-outside room. And what we're doing is um, bringing all of the, the live plants for the exhibit all edible and we're going to have our teens on site all evening from 6 to 10 at the gateway 
on December 5th to tell about all the kinds of work that Project Angel Faces does. That's oh, really cool. cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of odyssey are you going to have there? I'm sure you had lots of awesome submissions. Well, yeah, and um, we're, we're actually uh, accepting uh, volunteers for our team. So mm -hmm. if anybody wants to go on our Facebook forward slash uh, Project Angel Faces, they can sign up there. Mm -hmm. Or in the back, if our audience wants to sign up, we have a sign up. And we have some free starter seed kits for the live audience today. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Nice. So, yeah. Thank you for bringing that in. That's excellent. This is a really cool course, actually. And I'm seeing that the, you guys are still calling for artists as well to take up some of those rooms. That's so right. If you haven't filled them yet. That's right. But I'm sure there's already some really exciting ones lined up, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be a fun, fun day. Excellent. So um, I see that you, you're hoping that by bringing people together, you're going to be sparking discussions and facilitating connections with Las Vegas, right? That's right. So the whole community, you know, we wanted the creativity. We wanted to be able to support the community and the Huntridge Theater Foundation. Mm. We, we love what they're doing. So Absolutely. it's, it's going to be fun. Excellent. So how can people get in contact with you or find out more? Uh, they can go to our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Project Angel Faces. Or and that's on December the 5th. Right? Yes, December the 5th, yeah, from so 6 to 10 p.m. Cool. I'm really excited about seeing who's going to be taking it. Yeah, me too. Thanks for always supporting the podcast. And I'm looking forward to it. You bet. Cool. Thanks. All right. Well, thank you very much. And that's said that Zappos sells products. <laughs> but it kind of came out of nowhere. So everybody's kind of surprised. And, um, you know, we thought Zappos did a great job of turning lemons into lemonade. They um, put a product on the website this afternoon that was a $100,000 plunger because they do sell products, <laughs> which uh, resulted in over 200 million media impressions. So I think it uh, worked out pretty good for Zappos. So Kanye and Tony have, have made up officially. They have decided that this 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 beef is over and it was getting to be out of control. So as a special act of generosity, Kanye West actually sent us the new Yeezus 3 shoes, okay? So I don't know if you guys have been, been looking recently, but the Yeezus 2s, these these, uh, I guess they're Nike shoes, they've just been huge, right? So people have been sleeping in tents, they've been trying to get them for their sneaker collection. And the fact that Kanye was so kind that he actually went and got us the first unboxing of the Yeezus 3s, I just want to give a big hand to Kanye West. Thank you for So I, I thought, you know, maybe I'm not qualified to do this unboxing. I'm just a regular man. So I wanted to bring out a special guest. And the only man who's qualified to review shoes by the greatest rapper alive is the greatest rapper dead. <laughs> Tupac Shakur. Yeah, they came in this big silver package, so <laughs> please unbox these new Yeezus 3s. All right, here we go. This will be the hottest shoe on the street, I am sure. Check it, check it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. They, they really look like one size fit all. So uh, first off, what are you thinking about this? I mean, pretty amazing design, huh? You can tell this is, uh, this is definitely an expert. I really think I might be able to get these at Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so so the cool thing is, if you know, being a big celebrity, a big rap artist like you are, these address a lot of the problems rappers have. So one of the first things Kanye was quoted in a tweet saying, said that, uh, you know, abortion can cost a baller up to 50, maybe 100 Gs. Hashtag strap up, right? <laughs> So I guess they call it condom, it's just built right in. Well, you know, that, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, Kanye, the way he's talking is like the last time he had something is when he got out of there. <laughs> okay, okay, well, I mean, that's his thing. Like, you know, the shoe addresses a lot of different people. <laughs> that is, it's funnier than I imagined. I like it. <laughs> okay, 
is the truth. Right, so we want to do some of the other things. So another thing that they said this could dress is uh, Kanye said that he's like a tree and that branch, he, he feeds the branches of all the people that come to him, right? So one of the things they do with this extra space, I guess, is, uh, I us see if this works, but you gotta reach in, I guess. And uh, yeah, flip bars. So you guys you have food right inside there with all you know all the people coming up needing you to be need to be well, fed. It's right? trying to make me think these shoes are for the homeless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, what about this last one? I mean, this is this is kind of a big selling point for anybody who wants the new Yeezy threes. Is uh, one of the quote one of the problems that he had is the greatest pain in Kanye's life is that he's never going to be able to see himself perform live. <laughs> Which is a really difficult thing. So the new Yeezus 3s come with mirrors on the front. So when you're performing, you can just look down. I, I mean, what do you think? Seven, eight hundred dollars? Well, maybe two thousand. Well, to, to, well, at least the quality. I mean, we know we know Kanye's a good quality guy. What would you say about the quality of the new Yeezus 3s? Um, don't play basketball. <laughs> You want you want Fremont all the time? Fremont, the strip. Yeah, check them out on Facebook. What's your Facebook? If anyone wants um, to follow you? Facebook is Brooklyn Space. We go hard in Vegas. Okay, all right. Thank you. So I have Dylan Bathurst here. Dylan, what is your Twitter username? Uh, at Dylan Bathurst. Well, didn't predict that. Very, well. yeah, very uh, creative, huh? <laughs> awesome. So we talked to you about your new Rumja payments feature. Yes. And um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of interesting things on Rumja sold so far, right? Yeah, we've seen some interesting and weird things. Uh, so what is your favorite thing or the weirdest thing that you've seen being sold on Rumja so far? Uh, probably my favorite thing is also the weirdest thing, um, and that was uh, a pair of taxidermy frogs playing pool. <laughs> <laughs> it was creepy and weird and, and Mark Johnson tried to buy it actually. Well, I imagine you probably got a few people flaking out on that and changing their minds at the last minute after accepting it. Yeah, I think I think a few people thought they wanted it, but when it really came time to put up the money for it, they probably changed their mind. <laughs> I wonder where it is right now and who the new article was. It's probably up on somebody's bookshelf just making people very creeped out to go to that house. <laughs> we may never find out. Well, thank you for sharing that, Dylan. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. <laughs>